Look everyone, here comes a roof. Now this roof doesn't fold out or anything fancy, but it does go together pretty quickly and it weighs very little, so I am quite pleased with it. Not that I expect to use it much, because I prefer cruising along in the sunshine <laughs> with the wind through my hat, but I felt I ought to build a roof to prove that it could be done and to give anyone who wants one the option. It has to be fairly minimalist, of course, not just for the weight, but mostly for the wind. I've seen some designs for roofs on small electric vehicles like this one that would be completely undrivable here. They'd be blown sideways or backwards because the roofs are just too big. But there isn't much to this one, so I don't think the wind will be a problem on most days anyway. And it wasn't that difficult to make, in fact, once I'd worked out the shape that I wanted. The problem is, even though there's not a lot to it, the roof shape changes the look of the car completely. And for a long time, I couldn't come up with anything that didn't just make it look ugly or silly or ugly and silly. And I like the shape of my little car and I didn't want to spoil it too much. A shaped Perspex roof might be nice, of course, but it would be quite tricky to make and perhaps not suitable for someone trying to make this car from a set of plans. Now, of course, any roof has to be tall enough at the front so you can see out and tall enough over your head so you can fit in, but not too tall because of the wind resistance. And I decided early on that it wouldn't have any doors because they would need to be transparent and that would make it just too bulky and complicated. But if no doors, then Surely it would just trap all the wind as you drove along. So, what to do? Well, eventually I decided that this shape might work. Would work, probably. <laughs> Note the domed roof and the bikini strap at the back. The strap doesn't add much at all to the weight, but it does change the roof shape and makes it much less boxy and upright it sort of spreads it out a bit so that's good and it allows for a big gap underneath so air shouldn't be trapped inside that's the theory anyway no doors but flaps for when it's parked up outside with the shape decided i set about trying to make it in the simplest way i could starting with the windscreen the basic car has a deflector screen normally but that is too low to work for the roof. I could, in theory, add an extension to it somehow to raise it high enough, but I decided that a hinge would be a bit awkward and a slot in extension might require a complicated part. So I've gone with a completely new full height replacement windscreen that simply replaces the deflector screen when you want it to. It just slides in and out of the slots in the bonnet. The roof fabric, which is lightweight ripstop nylon, is permanently trapped behind a wooden frame on the windscreen, so no rain should get in. After that, it has to go over frames to keep it high enough, and I'll make the frames with the chromed steel pipe, or shower rail as it's sold here. It's uh, lightweight and strong and very shiny. And of course, also um, some marine ply for the top hoops. After a lot of experimentation with pipe lengths and angles, I settled on these wooden brackets that are permanently attached to the wings. And I used these double-ended chrome bolts for neatness and at the top of the windscreen as well. So the two frames just sort of slot together and slot onto the roof support bracket that's easy and the fabric goes over the top and down to the back with a bungee 
to hold it taut. So far, so good. I found the best way to shape the roof was to put it on inside out so I could make pleats on the outside with pins over the frames. That way, once they were sewn up, they could be put the right way around again and they looked neat enough. The ripstop nylon is easy to sew with a sewing machine and if you make a mistake, you can just unpick it and do it again. So there's one bungee at the back and two on each side. I was able to use the front indicator lights as anchors for two of the bungees, but the back ones were just too high up. So I had to move them down and drill new holes and patch the old holes which was a bit of a shame but at least it saves having any additional anchor points anywhere and of course i've altered the plans to show the new position of the back indicators and that's it roof done now i know it could be better could be fancier but honestly i doubt it could be simpler and yes, you do have to drive along with the flaps open, but that's okay because you're so well covered otherwise, you just don't need them closed. In fact, it might be a little claustrophobic in there with the flaps down and the rain on the roof or snow, or whatever. <laughs> As it is, it feels snug and cozy. I think I'd need to buy a can of the windscreen spray that motorcyclists use on their helmet visors to stop the raindrops collecting. But apart from that, it's ready to go. Even better than an umbrella, probably. <laughs> And when you finish driving around in the rain, you can just take it down so quickly and easily and store most of it inside the um, compartment at the back and the main bit sits behind the seat. Right then. Are finished finally so I just have to write all that up as the last section of the plans and squeeze the wooden parts onto the sheet layout drawings and then the plans will be ready too Ooh, can't wait <laughs>